Hey guys, uh, I'd like to wish everybody a happy Wednesday. Uh, hope everybody had a great weekend. Uh, I think I mentioned uh, towards the end of the last video I put up, uh, I was going to start showing my uh, Justice League of America collection. Uh, I'm going to have to split this up into a few segments, and I thought what I'd do is kind of start in the middle and maybe go from uh, like uh, 1974 back to 1969. Uh, kind of showing those issues and maybe the next video from 69 on back to the earliest ones I have. Uh, out of the 261 issue run, I'm uh, about 34 issues shy, uh, counting the annuals and everything. Uh, but I'm hoping to fill some holes when they have the convention up here in a couple weeks. But anyway, I'll get started. Uh, okay, first book is uh, issue 110. It was a 100 page spectacular. Uh, this kind of grabbed my eye when I was a kid because, you know, the lead story, you see Santa Claus face down in the snow, you know, The Murder of Santa Claus, 1973. But uh, I thought it was a cool book. I mean, it's really hard to find uh, these black covers in high grade, uh, which this is not my original copy. But, uh, you know, you got the uh, lead story, you have a uh, Justice Society story from All-Star Comics, and then you have an old uh, JLA, re or JLA reprint from the early uh, books, but uh, I think it's a Nick Cardi cover, and uh, just about, well, I think about all of these issues, the uh, new stories are uh, by Dick Dillon, and I think uh, Frank McLaughlin, Dick, Jor or Dick Giordano, and uh, Joe Giella inked a lot of these, so that's issue 110, <laughs> and here's my original copy, well worn as you can see, I think I rolled this one up in my back pocket and took it to school a few times. But, uh, you know, piece of the childhood, so. Okay. Have issue 109. One of you is going to quit the Justice League. I want to know who and why. Uh, in case somebody wants to read these in a reprint or get this, I won't tell you who, but. Anyway, cool cover. Nick Cardi again on that. Okay, these next two uh, are JLA JSA team up. You have uh, 107 and 108. Okay, and this is uh, when they first met the heroes from, uh, I guess, Earth X uh, with the Freedom Fighters. Uh, you have. Who you got there? You have the original uh, Uncle Sam, the Ray, Human Bomb, Black Condor, and on the uh, other side you have uh, actually the Golden Age Superman is in this one. Batman, Sandman, Doctor Fate. That's part one. Uh, or wait a minute, that was part two. I'm sorry, that was 108. This is 107. And on Earth X, uh, for those of you that follow DC's history and continuity, uh, that's the Earth where the Nazis won World War II. So you have the JLA and JSA coming back and uh, trying to help them uh, overthrow the Nazis. And Nick Cardi. And JLA 106. It's the issue uh, Red Tornado joined the JLA. And what a lot of people might not realize, uh, Tornado, this Red Tornado, the android, was actually a member of the uh, Justice Society for a while. This was after the uh, Ma Hunkle version of the original Red Tornado. And here's issue 105. sure which one was the original copy because they're both kind of beat up. I need to upgrade these. But this was uh, the issue where Elongated Man joined the JLA. Okay, issue 104 against the Shaggy Man. Issue 103, guest starring the Phantom Stranger. OK, 
Okay, these next three uh, are part of a three-part story. Uh, 100, 101, and 102. Uh, issue 100. I think it guest stars just about everybody to that point from the JLA and JSA. Uh, and then you have the uh, Seven Soldiers of Victory. It's the first part of the story. Uh, some of these I got dupes on. Uh, a lot of the early ones, you know, obviously not, but uh, through this run, there'll be a few duplicates. Okay, issue 101 second part of the story hand that shook the world and issue 102 for earth to live one of us must die and someone does die but I won't tell who another Nick Carty cover uh, you notice on the side all these little vignettes they have of their faces all these were done by Neil Adams so, and back through some of the next several issues, uh, there'll be a lot of Adams covers that I didn't get to show on the other, just because I was trying to keep all the JLAs together. Okay, issue 99. Is starring Sargon the Sorcerer. And you have some uh, Golden Age stories reprinted in the back of these 52 page giants. Okay, issue 97. Sorry about the glare. I need to rebag and board a bunch of these. Uh, another copy of 97. This is really a pretty nice condition, but uh, this might put a date stamp on the top. So, number 96. Going to get Starbreaker, the Cosmic Vampire. Uh, he has some Golden Age reprints Iron Man and Wildcat. Adam Strange actually stars in this issue, I think. The cameo role, it says. And actually, this is a, this is a Neil Adams cover. Okay, issue 95, Murphy Anderson cover. Dr. Fate and Dr. Midnight reprints. Private War of Johnny Dune. And a copy of 94 of you know, the Neil Adams cover, and actually has uh, a few pages of Neil Adams art on the inside. It's a guest starring Dead Man. And you have the uh, secret origin stories of Sandman and Starman in the back of this, so this was a bargain. Another copy of 94, a bit lower grade. And issue 93, uh, I think this is actually just reprints of earlier issues. Uh, next two is another JLA, JSA team up. Uh, I just love these stories. But, uh, we have issue 91. Another Neil Adams cover. Uh, you'll notice uh, on the lineups, uh, each team has a, a doppelganger or his uh, other version. So actually, you have the uh, so-called adult Robin in here teaming up with the uh, Robin of Earth One. Both Adams, both Hawkman, Flash, Green Lantern, and Superman. Just kind of wonder why they didn't put Batman in here too. But good story. Uh, there's my original copy, a little bit beat up. 
and I need to upgrade this one. This only issue of this I have. This is the conclusion of that, number 92, against Solomon Grundy. Another Neil Adams cover. Okay, number 90. Murphy Anderson cover. Number 89. Neil Adams. It's one of my favorite JLA covers. Adams did. Number 88. And my original copy of 88. <laughs> okay, number 87. The Adams cover. Another copy of 87. Another great cover, number 86. This is one of the first uh, ones I saw advertised in another old back issue that made me want to get this book. It's just a real powerful cover. Okay, here's another giant, number 85. More reprints. All sorcery issue. Four. More Murphy Anderson. Okay, another JLA JSA team up for eighty two and eighty three. cover where uh, whatever's happening to the JLA that's happening to the JSA on their earth with their counterparts. More Mr. Adams. My original copy. Tape on the staples. And number 83, the conclusion. The Murphy Anderson cover. copy of the same book. Okay, number 81. Number 80. Another Anderson cover. Seventy nine. Neil Adams. Another copy of seventy nine. And seventy eight. Is starring the vigilante, the cowboy on the motorcycle. It was actually a Gil Kane cover. And another copy of the same book. And here's a book I, sh I believe I've shown this one earlier. Uh, Number 77. And, uh, right here, I had this one autographed by Murphy Anderson at a con I went to several years ago. And another copy of 77.
And the last one tonight is uh, number 76. Uh, again, I think this is a uh, more reprints. And there's actually a uh, Seven Soldiers of Victory story in this. Okay, guys. Uh, next video, I'll be showing uh, issue 75 on back to uh, the earliest issues I have. Uh, Justice League is one of those books when I first really got into collecting and reading comics that uh, I couldn't wait for it to come out on the shelf. You know, I'd, I'd go, you know, and search it down and be like, oh, there it is, there's JLA, you know, and I would read the thing till the pages came off. Uh, just something about the world, all the world's greatest heroes in one book, you know. And uh, it, a lot of it was the same, like with the Avengers, you know, I was a big Avengers fan. Uh, but here you had all the big guns, you know, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Flash. Uh, so it really, I really got a kick out of collecting this. Uh, but next video I'll have a, uh, I have my earliest issues, and then I think the following videos will probably uh, be going forward until the end of the run, if uh, anybody's interested in those. So hope you guys have a good day.